Today I'll be revealing some Pokemon booster boxes that I'm sure you've never before seen, including showcasing some rare and very, very significant Pokemon packs and other items that hopefully I'll be educating y'all on as well. But you want a vintage pack? I got one! A base set unlimited Venusaur pack art pack, I said pack a lot, going to one of y'all at home, it could be you. Subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know, what is your favorite Pokemon card set of all time and why for a chance at this sealed booster pack of base set? But we got more packs today that we're gonna be going through, including these first ones. Aquapolis. Aquapolis was part of the e-reader sets, which I do have more of here to show y'all. E-readers used the Game Boy Advance peripheral way back in the early 2000s, and this specific set was the second to last set that Wizards of the Coast made in 2002. Aquapolis, a set that introduced crystal Pokemon cards that you may have seen me open up before, but this first set, of all of the pack arts, I believe, for each of the four that you can get and open. Some of the crystal Pokemon include Crystal Lugia, which I have yet to still pull. So these are one of the e-reader sets. You know another one, which includes this one, which is not the one I was just talking about, Expedition Base Set. Expedition Base Set was the very first e-reader set. This set you definitely have seen me open up before on the channel. Includes incredible holographic cards like Mew, Mewtwo, and also I believe there's a beautiful Dragonite in this set as well. This doesn't include any crystal Pokemon cards on the inside, but the next set definitely does. And I'm sure, as you've seen me open even recently, it's the Subway set, Sky Ridge. We have Sky Ridge. Of course, all of these sets just have nine additional game cards because of copyright and pricing issues. This was the final set that Wizards of the Coast made in 2003 before Pokemon Company USA and Nintendo themselves took it in-house to make cards. So it's a very special set where the illustrators had a lot of leeway to do what they wanted to do as far as the illustrations. And of course there's a Charizard, a crystal Charizard, which I did pull last year on the channel from one pack. It was magical. So those three are the e-reader sets. Now the Japanese equivalents of those sets, like these. Beautiful pack arts. There's the one horn Charizard. This is, of course, with the e-reader symbol, Expedition Base Set, but in Japanese. There's a little picture of the Game Boy Advance with the e-reader peripheral that failed massively. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'm sure there's plenty of channels that cover it. Then we have Aquapolis. I believe this is like, some, like I forgot the exact title, uh, but this is the exact uh, equivalent in Japanese. I think it's like Wind Far From Home or something, or I'm confusing because there was two subsets of Aquapolis that were separated in Japanese, but this is one of the packs for that. And then of course, we have Sky Ridge, a Sky Ridge Japanese pack. Could be a Crystal Charizard in this specific one, but very cool we have the equivalents for those. And then we got more English packs, which I've opened up before. Legendary Collection, Legend Wait For It Dairy Collection. Here are all the pack arts. I pulled the reverse holographic Mewtwo in a video from last year as well, opening up several of these packs. But this is a very fun set that introduced those very sparkly reverse holographics, which are coincidentally more valuable than the actual hollows in this set. So a very fun set. It was never printed in Japanese. It was only printed in English. May have been at one point called Base Set 3, but they changed the name to Legendary Collection. Well, there are those. Now we have two very special McDonald's packs. The Japanese, however, this is actually uh, an equivalent of Aquapolis. But in Japanese, and released in 2002 in Japan at McDonald's, you would get this specific pack. Now I believe this pack only comes with one or two cards on the inside. You can see it's very, very thin. And this is not even the most special pack that McDonald's came out with that year in 2002. The Pokemon E-Minimum pack 
that your e-reader pack. This one actually has six cards on the inside. And as you're seeing right now, it has some of the most cute cards, specifically of Squirtle. But you know, there's other, there's other ones as well. All of these came with at least one holographic card and energy cards and several other common cards, as you may have just seen. But this pack is by far the more special one if you would compare the two. But they were both released in Happy Meals in 2002 at McDonald's. Each of the packs and items that you just saw and you are about to see shortly are up for auction on Rare Candy. Now, I'll put a link in the description below, but you're more than welcome to go to rarecandy.com and check out the January premiere auction, which will end this Saturday, January 28th at 3 p.m. Central, ending with a live stream hosted by myself, watching all of the bidding action take place. Now, everything started at just $1 per item for the bidding. However, it has been live for about a week now, but by the end of this week, the auction will conclude. So if you'd like to check out some of those packs and all of the other various items, because we got lots of all types of prices and ranges, please go check out rarecandy.com for the January premiere auction. There's also other items to showcase like this, which I've personally never seen an actual case of Japanese base set starter decks still sealed like this. To actually future, there's the one horn Zard again, but you can see all of these, which we actually have also as a separate lot, one of what, you know, could be inside here. Granted, there's different versions of these theme decks, which include potentials at no rarities and such, which I won't get into today. However, these are the original starter decks, and this is an actual full-on case of them, which I thought was really, really interesting and unique to see. We got more theme decks, of course. There's Da Misty. I did get these when I was growing up and I would go to my local store that's not there anymore. And I would be so, uh, I'd like, just like fixated on the Japanese sets and the uh, artworks and such, especially on the actual theme deck boxes like these because they just showcase the trainers and the Pokemon in a completely different light. So staying just on theme decks, here's a theme deck that I, again, I've never seen before until today. This is a very cool, sleek looking theme deck of the set Expedition, which I showed you before, obviously in Japanese, but a mint condition and absolutely beautiful type of artwork with the Pokeball that would usually be on the back of the Japanese cards back then, uh, actual theme deck. So I thought that was really cool. Moving on to an actual type of collector's chest, I've actually opened this one up before on the channel a long time ago, but this specific chest comes with different types of decks, but most importantly, it comes with two gold stars and probably more popular ones, Pikachu and Mewtwo are on the inside along with an actual play mat to play the game, uh, chunky Pikachu coin, and several other damage counters and items, but the artwork on the side is beautiful. It also does have the Lucario and Mew holographics as well. And just so you can see that side, absolutely beautiful artwork on that thing. Remember the 15th anniversary of Pokemon? Well, I actually don't really, because this came out in 2011 when I had just started collecting again. This is the 15th anniversary Pokemon box. Comes with the two beautiful, uh, like embossed 15th anniversary and golden print. There looks like there's texture on the cards, but this is an incredibly rare item, especially in as mint condition as it is. Moving on to the next item. It's rather big, but beautiful. For the 2010 movie, well, there's also Pikachu, the movie, the logo. There are Japanese Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and other types of packs. It looks like from the base set of Heart Gold, Soul Silver, all the way up to the other sets. And those are down there. And then you have up here the promos of the different type of dogs. Those are holographics, of course. I thought this is a very cool item, especially the uh, back of the item as well is absolutely beautiful. Moving on, we have two items which I personally would love myself. 
because especially, again, seeing them sealed like this, this is like a weight. This is very heavy. These are called vending sheets from Pokemon. I've done videos on this before. Look, it says, there's no K, game freak. But on the other one, there is a K right there. There, so C and then a K. That's really weird. That's, it's extra special. But actually, Vending Series 3, if you take a closer look, these are the type of, uh, they would showcase around the different regions of the Kanto region, have different Pokemon that you can actually peel from vending machines, hence the name. But this card up here was, I believe, sometimes in Series 3, which this box is, the Oyama's Pikachu card, which I'm sure you've seen before, or at least the art style. This is a whole case of them. And this is Vending Series 1, which also has some awesome peelable cards on the inside. Now, if you're a fan of art, well, I have something for y'all. Not just these, these are incredibly rare Pokemon Center from 2004. Places to put your decks illustrated by different illustrators, like you'll see shortly, Mitsuhiro Arita, with this specific one. There's his name down there. There's a Charizard. And just so you can see the back, there's a golden Pokeball on the side and golden Pokemon Center. So these are just really cool uh, because they just don't pop up often. None of, like, a lot of these items just don't pop up often, including this. A beautiful artwork. This is a gift box that it has half decks on the inside, a Latius and a Latios EX as well. Let's see, there we go. So you can see a play mat. It looks like there's an actual CD too. I wonder what that plays. But you can see this is in beautiful near mint to mint condition as well. It has the little handle at the top. So this is all of these items that I'm showcasing are up for auction right now. You also have this, which I can't really fit all the way on here. But this thing is incredible. Another item I just, I've never seen like this before. It includes, if I just hold it this way so you can see, this includes not just packs and cards and decks and play mats. It includes so many different types of items, but please go check out the listing on Rare Candy, the January premiere auction to see more pictures of what comes on the inside of this thing. And all the other listings, including binders like this one. Look at that. We got the Lugia from Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and several other Pokemon. These are incredibly uh, beautifully illustrated binders with Ho Oh and Lugia on the sides. So I think this is just a very, very cool looking binder. Personally, would love it myself. Lugia, Ho Oh, still sealed for that one. We have more. If you really like Lugia and Ho Oh, these are definitely the binders for you just so you can check out the side. This one definitely is letting you know what it is. There's some more Pokemon on the, look at that, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Like, I, I would want these. I would definitely want these. And then we have a Rayquaza on this side. I think a Salamance is at the very top right there. So you never know what you're gonna see on these from 2003, I believe. Yep, 2003. Pokemon Guard, there's the same side of that one. And then we have a special Mitsuhiro Arita printed binder. Got Giratina, don't let this drop on the side. A collection file. So this may actually have, I don't know, some of these may actually have some items on the inside of them. Definitely go check out the listings to see. But just so you can see, there's the side of that one. Now we're moving on to some booster boxes, but don't forget guys, I have an English base set booster pack going to one of y'all at home. If you have subscribed, leave a like on this video and let me know what is your favorite set of all time and why. But moving on to some very special booster boxes. This is the set Black and White Plasma Storm, but in Japanese. The English, well, both of the sets have that beautiful secret rare Charizard in Blastoise on the inside. So that is a very special box. I can actually just stack them over here. And as I go through all of the different boxes and such, all of these being in near mint to mint condition, it's very, very special to see items like these much less in person, but to go up for sale like these, like they are, currently right now on Rare Candy. That's why it's so special when beautiful items like these. History for such an obviously such a 
iconic game. Here's another plasma set, what the English equivalent would be, but in Japanese. Uh, it's just so special and there's not a day goes by where I'm just so grateful to be able to just continue to learn to educate myself, but hopefully y'all at home are able just to see more of the history of all of these different types of boxes and sets. This one's very heavy. Why is that one heavy? Uh, and all of the beautiful artwork that are on these. Now, booster boxes did go to those how they are now, but they used to be like the following. Some diamond and pearl booster boxes, which frankly are incredibly rare in general, but even more rare than those booster boxes because uh, the diamond and pearl sets just these weren't printed in massive quantities, so uh, having them like these that are still sealed, this is how the seals were, were just on the sides. You've seen that several times from different types of booster boxes, but here are different type of diamond and pearl sets. And these are not even the ones that I'm gonna be revealing very shortly, as those are even more special, if that's even possible, than these specific ones. Here's a diamond and pearl original base set box, so I think that's really cool. I guess I also just showed the other version of it because it was in two different types of subsets. We just have a few more boxes to show you before the grand reveal. Now we have the original <laughs> Neo Discovery, but in Japanese, these used to have a little Natu, how do you do? These used to have 60 packs on the inside. All of the packs would guaranteed have a holographic on the inside. Look, there's more Natu on the side. I didn't even notice that before, but this is a sealed booster box of those. And then we get back to more of these. I think this is a Magma versus Aqua booster box. Hence the verses right there, and that's red for magma. Carvana, na na na. I love it. But we have more of these type of sets, some more diamond and pearl sets with those evolutions on it. We have a Regigigas gracing the cover along with a Deoxys. More packs and boxes that are just really just boxes that you just aren't gonna really maybe even go for sale in a long time. That's why they're just so special to see these right now. We have uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> e obviously it's not called that, but uh, EX Series Box Hidden Legends. This does have gold stars. Oh no, it doesn't actually, excuse me. One of the rare EX Series that doesn't. And then we have this, a Ruby and Sapphire Booster Box. The first set that Pokemon Company and Nintendo made after Wizards of the Coast. Obviously this is in Japanese, but the equivalent would be Ruby and Sapphire in English. The following boxes that I'm about to show y'all are the world's rarest booster boxes of Pokemon. Let's take a look, if I can grab it gently, the very first box. An EX Legend Maker box from the EX series of Pokemon. During this time, Pokemon was just not popular. So the print runs of these boxes that you are seeing right now are incredibly difficult to come by. The next box we have right here, I've never seen it before in Japanese, is EX Hall and Phantoms. You've seen the set before with those amazing gold stars. Well, now you got some of the boxes. Reaching in, we have EX Dragon, if I remember correctly, with Rayquaza gracing the cover of this specific box. Of course, you got gold stars. What do we got over here? Of course, I believe this is EX Delta Species. So another EX series set with gold stars on the inside of it. It gets crazier if I can get this specific one. Another box I've never seen before, an Unseen Forces box. A set that in English has tons and tons of ultra rares that you can pull like Lugia. There's Lugia down there. There's Ho uh Oh gracing the cover of that box. Almost reminds me of Heart Gold Soul Silver. Next up, one of my favorite EX series sets of all time. That would be EX Crystal Guardians. 
Of course, there's gold stars like Alakazam on the inside, but then you got Charizard holographic cards and Blastoise. Charizard gracing the cover. There's a Celebi, Jirachi. Two more boxes on the inside. We have another EX series box, EX Dragon Frontiers with Latias and Latios. There's Mew on that side. And then we have what I believe may be the absolute rarest one, an EX Deoxys Booster Box. The one, the Rayquaza Gold Star, but here is the sealed version of that box. 